Liz from the Adventures of Island Girl coming at you with a new edition of Ask an Island Girl. Today I have moved outside so that you can enjoy the Caribbean weather with me. Uh, I figured it's not very much fun to always see me in my office. So I'm on my back terrace. Um, the wind is blowing light so you probably will be okay. I have some wind chimes so apologies for the background noise. But we're going to do it from outside today. So let's get to it. Today's question came from April in Seattle, who asked me, what are the essentials I can't live without for a day at the beach? Uh, and that's a great question because whether you're vacationing in the tropics or you live here, uh, going to the beach is exponentially more enjoyable when you have the necessities for making it a good day. Uh, so without further ado, I thought I would just get my own beach bag and take a look through it and show you the things that are most important. All right, first things first, I try never to leave the house without my Turkish towels. Uh, these you can buy anywhere. Tons and tons and tons of brands are making them. Uh, but why Turkish towels and not a regular towel? Um, I just love them. They fold up really small and take up a, a tiny bit of space, a fraction of the space that you'd get with a regular towel. They're super absorbent, and they can be used for every kind of purpose you'd need. Beach blankets, beach towels. Uh, sarongs, <laughs> head wraps, whatever you need. Uh, Turkish towels is where it's at. Something else that I uh, always have to have when I go to the beach, especially when I know I'm going to be in the ocean and all the salt water, is some kind of conditioner. This is just generic uh, rinse out conditioner that I bought at one of the local shops. Um, but what I do is when I get out of the water, I rinse my hair off really well with fresh water to get all the salt out. And then while it's still uh, wet, I glom on a bunch of this and I just leave it on. So nothing special, nothing fancy. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a fancy Legion conditioner. I have found personally that cheap, cheap, cheap stuff from the local Chinese shop here on the island works just as well as a $40 bottle of uh, designer conditioner. Also, so, so far so good, right? Also, um, the other thing that I am non-negotiable about is Reef Safe Sunscreen. Um, the brand doesn't really matter. I use Island Tribe because it's proven effective uh, for kite surfing. I can put it on once in the morning uh, before my first session and it lasts me the entire day. Um, but really any kind of sunscreen that doesn't have oxybenzone in it and is declared reef safe, um, it will do the trick. So it's up to you if you like fragrance or you like sweet stuff that smells like coconut. Um, buy whatever you want, just make sure it's reef safe. And if you're not sure if the sunscreen that you like is reef safe, Google is your friend. Google that shit, reef safe sunscreen, it will give you a ton of options for a sunscreens that will be good for you to keep your skin safe, but also keep the corals from dying. Uh, reef safe sunscreen, um, item number three. And then one last item uh, that I never try and leave home without is a drinking vessel. Uh, this one is an extra cool, uh, cute wine glass slash any beverage glass that I bought when I was in Puerto Rico. I bought it at a surf shop there. It's got a pointy end so it sticks, it sticks in the sand and stays upright. It also, I have discovered from using it in my own swimming pool, it floats in water. And the added benefit, it has a nice pointy end so if anyone gets out of hand at the beach, I always feel like I'm protected. Just kidding. So those are the essentials that I keep in my beach bag. Uh, Turkish towels, reef safe sunscreen, and some kind of conditioner that I leave in for my hair. And then of course a beverage glass because you never know when somebody's gonna bust out a bottle of Prosecco and you're gonna have an impromptu party on the beach. Uh, people are great at bringing wine to the beach. They're not always great at bringing a lot of cups. So if you have your own, you always know you're covered. And anyway, that's it, April. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed the change of perspective being out on my patio. Um, if anyone else has a question, you can feel free to send it to me at hello at theadventuresofislandgirl.com and I will respond to every question that I get. Uh, also, you may want to head over to my Facebook page. You can find me at The Adventures of Island Girl on Facebook. Um, there, you'll find a lot of stuff I don't share on my website or on the videos. Uh, it's a lot of fresh content uh, designed to inspire and motivate you to live your best life and some fun Caribbean-themed things as well. So follow us or like us on Facebook. You can drop me a message uh, through Facebook Messenger with your questions or your comments or whatever you need. Uh, until then, uh, I will wait to hear from you. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the beach. I'm back. 
so I just watched the, uh, the video that I just shot and I couldn't help but notice, and I'm sure you did too, that I've got this like incredible gray area that's pretty glaring on the video. And some of you might be wondering if I'm just lazy as fuck and I'm just too, too time crunched to go to the hair salon. The truth is I'm letting my gray hair grow out. Uh, I blogged about it a couple weeks ago. You can find that on the website. There's actually a category called going gray under the blog section. Um, and this is what's happening. I am six weeks out from my last coloring appointment and I'm gonna wait uh, another three weeks or four weeks before I go into the salon and work with my colorist who is magical uh, to do something to kind of minimize the transition, I think. Um, anyway, that's what it is. So if, in case you were wondering, I'm gonna keep blogging about my gray journey, but obviously since hair grows a half an inch a month, there's not that much to talk about on a regular basis, but stay tuned. And if you wanna follow along, you can find that on the website too. Have a good one.